Hello everybody, July 15, 2020, Doc Hydro here. Listen, uh, this is a remake of yesterday's video because the audio quality uh, on the microphone input side was severely distorted and overdone, so I'm going to remake this. And the video talks about the KNG P150 and KNG2 P150 model radios and some radio issues and problems like... Um, uh, you're having transmission problems or reception problems between radios. You start to clone and then certain things uh, start to act kind of funky. Uh, we had one incident out of our district to where uh, you clone the radio and then the next thing you know you go to a zone but then it locks you from coming back to your home zone. Really weird bizarre stuff. And a lot of that has to do with firmware version 5 decimal six decimal zero alpha and um, BK Technologies ie realm has issued their final service bulletin as of August of last year basically stating uh, that it is highly suggested that folks roll back the firmware upon identification and or stop upgrading to five six zero alpha and or if they see it to roll back to 550 Foxtrot. So I'm going to show you what that is. If you, this is the National Interagency Communications Division website. If you come over to the hot sheet link and then click on legacy cloning issues, you're going to see on their site uh, to where it says that it is recommended to avoid cloning between the KNGs and the DPH radios because of the following cloning issues until a fix is identified. Okay, so one of the things that they list here is that when cloning from a KNG variant to the DPH variant, the user code guards, i.e. tone select, gets activated on the target DPH radio. And they say that this is fixed in KNG firmware 561 or later. Then they also say that when cloning from a KNG uh, to a DPH transmit power on the target DPH gets locked on low power instead of being selectable. And then when cloning from a DPH to a KNG2, transmit power on the target KNG radio gets locked to high instead of being selectable. So they talk about some issues here, but they, they, they tell you that essentially these issues get fixed when going from 56 uh, when updating firmware to 561 this is what the NIFC uh, communications division says this solves the problem that's what this this basically eludes to is that it gives the impression that this solves the problem well let's put it this way if you go to BK technologies website go to support technical support and you click on their uh, their link there, you're going to be presented with an option of going to the support and technical documentation. Select bulletins. If you go to the bulletins and you look for August 14th of 2019, last year, you are going to see to where they say firmware downgrade to version 550 Foxtrot for portable and mobile radios running firmware version 560 Alpha and mandates adoption of radio editor software 559 for further device customization. Are you catching what this is saying? 560 is causing the problem. It is not a solution to the problem. If you click on download, it'll bring you up to the service bulletin PDF file. That's what that is. And so it says, in unforeseen cases, firmware version 560 alpha causes issues with the operation and cloning of both portable and mobile radios. Doesn't differentiate between DPH or KNGs or legacy uh, uh, DMH radios. It just says that this is primarily an issue on the KNG side running 560 alpha firmware. The solution to that, downgrade back to the last stable version, which is 550 Foxtrot, and that would basically solve the problem. They talk about here that there have been identified software instabilities introduced with the new features added to version 560 alpha that might affect consolidated features. So I'll say that again. Software instabilities are introduced as a result of 560 alpha. Okay, that's the problem. And then in some corner cases, the instability may cause issues with operation and cloning. That's not cloning operations.
that's operation and cloning two separate things being affected at the same time here therefore BK strongly advises customers to stop upgrading to firmware version 560 alpha and roll the firmware back to version 550 F upon identification so if you get a radio and you look at the firmware version you see it's got 560 alpha don't just leave it there remove it and put 550 foxtrot back into it okay so what they're doing is bk is actively working on a backport of the features in the 560 firmware that are not present in the version 550f so they got a detail thing this is kind of important here on may 15th of 2019 bk technologies issued a service bulletin of number 1055 advising a firmware downgrade from 560 alpha to 550f however code plugs are not compatible between the two versions of the so editor software so for that reason they came up with radio editor software 559 this eases the firmware downgrade procedure by enabling conversion between the code blocks of these two versions. So that's what that was. And then if you um, uh, get to this section, you want to see what it looks like. This right here shows uh, on this particular KNG what you're looking for. You want to see release 550F and then software 550 echo. And it would say file format 56. So that's fine. This is what you're looking for. And then on the KNG2s, you're going to see this. It's going to be the same thing. So that's basically it, gents. Uh, and then uh, if, you, um, if you're looking for the, uh, the information, further information as to the progression of what led up to it, uh, it's, it's all down in here. See, it talks about the destination cloning errors back in 2017. Then they talked about a radio editor compatibility issues with the firmware 550 uh, or 55X to 560. Um, then they were having destination cloning errors back in June of 2017. So this has been a progression. There are several service bulletins, but you will note that there is no 560 uh, alpha firmware upgrade bulletin or anything suggesting that you should upgrade to that the last bulletin was this year march of this year 2020 that only talks about cleaning and disinfecting guidelines for your bk radio has nothing to do with firmware if on the other hand you click on firmware um, you'll go to the bk digital side click on your p150 and command channel you'll note that uh, that update for 550F right here, and then it's got the uh, release notes. Talks about certain things that uh, it's uh, taken care of, and then it gives uh, the release model radios that it's uh, operable for. Um, and so you can look down through all of these, and it will give you all of the uh, the issues and the fixes and the causes that they were trying to address and whatnot. So at any rate, gentlemen and ladies, um, there you have it. But uh, I would recommend that uh, you definitely get rid of uh, 560 Alpha upon site. Uh, and you want to use, the, and they've got instructions for that. There's instructions for that in there. Uh, get with your radio tech and tell them to get rid of uh, firmware 560 alpha downgrade to 550 Foxtrot and um, Go from there. That's it guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye